So this is scene one, take seven, here on the channel. I gotta say, this is totally worth the purchase every single two times that I've used it. Worth it! Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. This one is gonna be a little bit different today. We're gonna be looking at the new Sims 4 update that was just released. It fixed numerous bugs and a few little issues here and there, but they also addressed some really interesting things. So if you'll come with me on a little journey, we're actually going to go back to this great channel that I call The Sim Supply. Uh, we're going to go through my videos because I want to just show you what I'm talking about before we uh, have a look at what is in the patch. So if we go back a little ways in time, all the way back to my build by overview of The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure, uh, there was... There's an ad. Grammarly! <laughs> Grammarly has made a return. This part right here is exactly what I want to reference. So I'm just going to play the video. One thing that really annoys me in this pack, and I am not happy about it all. I'm talking to, directly to you, Sims producers. Why Why are these three plants joined together? Why is this in one piece? It, okay, it's fine to have it in one piece if we also have all three separately, but we don't, and it's super annoying. Like, we, okay, the thing is, we almost- And then I basically went on about that for another few minutes. Like, it just went on and on. Okay, I've, I've left now. But it went on for a while, and I was talking about some pots before that as well. Before that section, if we go back, like these guys up here about those all being joined together. I was just really annoyed because there's so many items in The Sims 4 that, like, look like they could very easily just be separate items and there's no reason at all for them to be joined. But I, it's all well and good if they are joined and then we also have separate versions, you know, we can, both is fine, but only having the joined version really, really sucks. Now, the other thing that I mentioned in this pack was this little bit right here where I'm talking about the kitchen counters. You know what annoys me more though, is it doesn't come with an island counter. There's no island version of this counter at all, for some reason that I don't quite know. That's why I've just put the same counter there. And that is ridiculous. So that's the thing. They gave us a new kitchen counter, but it didn't have any matching island counter, which is the most frustrating thing ever. Like why, why would that not be included? Uh, but I did find out, uh, this is a, when this pack came out, when was this? 26th of February is when I did the review. So around then, uh, when I was live streaming it, I did have one of the Sim Gurus come into my chat and they were like, oh my God, we actually forgot to put the island counter in. Like they were just in the chat and they said that. And I was like, are you serious? You just legitimately forgot it. Anyway, so those were like pretty much two of my biggest issues with the build and buy in that pack. But now if we jump into game right here and let's load up just a build mode save, they have actually addressed both of these huge complaints that I had, uh, which is exciting. It wasn't just, it wasn't just me complaining, obviously. A lot of people had the same issues uh, back uh, when this pack came out. Oh, let's load up this lot that has my first pet stuff on it. <laughs> I actually like this though, because that means we had, well, the thing is we had Jungle Adventure. This, I, I really love the pack and I still really like it. Then we had my first pet stuff. Ooh. Then we had this update, which is really good. It's weird. We're going from like really good to like, uh, questionable pack to really nice update. Right here, right here. Here they are guys, they, they separated out these plants. Let me just grab these out first of all and I'll get the um, the other matching one. Also here's the island counter that goes with the uh, the cabinets as well. <laughs> I'm super excited. So let me just grab out the other stuff for this as well. So we've got the matching uh, cabinet there and we have the matching arrangement of plants right here. So it's like, like really these were always separate but just one item and they're placed in such an awkward way which made it really hard to put anywhere. <laughs> but I'm so excited to get these separated because this is, I actually really, really like this plant here. Like this one I think is super nice. Has a lot of application in a lot of different places. They also have a nice variety of colors as well, which I'm gonna assume we're probably just pulled directly off of this. It's probably the exact same colors, which is really cool. The other cool thing with that means you can also just add another one over to here if you want. If you're just like, I just want another one of these in that little arrangement. Or you could even do this. And be like, hey, what if I wanted my plants like this? Wait, let's see, is that, uh, oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> it's like, now we can finally do that. And it's my choice. I chose to do that. Not you, me. That's just how I always wanted it. <laughs> no, but it is, it is actually really, I'm super stoked about this. Like, that is great. Really, really cool stuff. And I love, I love that they listen to the community, um, because it was, it was a really big sort of thing where people were like, why is this like this, you know? And I just love that they listened to it uh, and they actually did something about it, which is amazing. Now, the other really cool thing 
which if you haven't already seen a few posts around or you haven't seen my tweets, which by the way, you should uh, follow me on Twitter. It's pretty great. So each of these came with obviously new descriptions and they're pretty fun to read. Like if we go through each of these, this one is called the Solo Bromeliad. I don't, I don't know, it's got polys for, for pronunciation, but anyway. This cute little plant likes to be placed near other potted plants and trees, but it's time for them to grow up and be independent. Spread your wings and fly, little bro. So they each have like a little description that sort of plays off the fact that they were stuck together once before. Well, this one has a bit of a typo, but... <laughs> For those that want, just want to bring a little jungle into their life, there's the issue. Uh, um, look, I'll paraphrase and fix it, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. For those that just want to bring a little jungle into their life, this lovely plant pairs well with other assorted flora and fauna, but it is robust enough to stand on its own. Again, playing into the fact that, yeah, it was joined up there. And they, this also has the nice colors that sort of match along with that. Like, they're, they're the same colors that came off. There's nothing new. I think it's all just um, the variants on what we already had on this guy over here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe different ones, because they each have the same uh, the same color scheme, which is pretty cool. And then the last one, the last but not the least one. Actually, this is probably the most one. This is probably, this is probably the best one. Lonely Potted Tree. This poor tree used to be constantly surrounded by friends, but not anymore. It has been ripped from its comfort zone and added to The Sims' supply. Hey guys, James here today. For their placement, pleasure, enjoy, and happy decorating. Now, if that's not a reference to yours truly complaining about the plants, I don't know what is because it's not it's not been confirmed. But I'm just gonna I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty popular. Like I'm like I'm pretty sure they're talking about me and no one else. And also the counter as well, which by the way, I'm so glad that they added that back in. That's pretty funny that they, they just forgot to add this in. Oh, actually, I think this has a fun description too. Forgotten Island of Omiska. Legend tells of an ancient island counter from the jungle, but no one believed it until now. Recently discovered in the deep Omiskan ruins of Selva Dorada, this island is no longer a myth. Um, <laughs> yes. I love that. I love the descriptions on all these items. It's just so much fun. So those four items uh, were obviously added into the game if you have Jungle Adventure. If you don't, well, apologies, you don't get it. But maybe now you'll be like, oh, you know what? Jungle Adventure is now worth it. Maybe I should get it. Now, they did do one other thing in this update. Over in Creator Sim, they actually updated one of the traits, uh, which was this one here. It now says erratic. It used to be called insane, and I can absolutely 110% Guarantee that I will never call this trait erratic. I will continually say insane because it's been named that for the past four years. So, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm probably going to continue calling it insane. But in case you're wondering, it, it's now erratic. And that, you know, that kind of reflects pretty well on the changing of that name. That is fairly erratic. But um, there you go. Um, but yeah, that's the, the update that dropped today. Uh, I am super excited that they listened to the, all the community feedback on those plants and the island counter. And this really, I think, and the reception from a lot of us, the community, has been so positive on this as well. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Why would people be mad about them doing that? That's great news. That's really great. Uh, and that's great. I said great like 10 times. But that's good because it means that they will see that and be like, oh, people love this. Let's keep actually listening to feedback and making changes. Uh, not that they haven't done that in the past. I've done this a lot of times uh, before, but this one for me is fairly notable, especially because it puts me in the game. I made it. I made it. I don't I don't need to do anything with The Sims ever again. I'm in the game forever. I mean, they could take it out, but... I love The Sims. It's great. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will see you next time. This is just a short little video. Uh, super excited to see that. But uh, make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.